Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome to Big O Vlog. So this morning I decided um, to have some breakfast at McDonald's. The, the house is being cleaned. And when they're cleaning the house, I don't like to be there. You know, I left my, leave my wife with them. So I find some way to go. And today I decided I'm going to have a breakfast. So I walk with my equipment anywhere I go because I don't take no chance. Sometimes I start eating, I may eat something one time and didn't know it, because I didn't measure my blood sugar, I didn't know it affect me. I was terrible, I ate it a second time. So to avoid repeating the same thing and getting the same results, I always carry my um, blood monitoring equipment with me so I can check my blood sugar before I eat anything that I've never eaten before and I don't know it affect me. Very critical for me to know how everything affect me whether it's I cook it or whether I purchase it. But once I know, I don't have to do the measuring again because now I know exactly what I expect. But this morning I'm going to take my blood in front of you. You're going to see me taking my blood this time, okay? I'm at McDonald's. And, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of empty in here. If you COVID, you know, everybody is out. So I just need a little bit of blood. And, uh, let's see. There you go. Boom. So there's it. I'm gonna start up this morning. I don't need to eat for the morning or the drink. So it's 96. So I'm starting out at 96. This is my fasting blood sugar. I've been fasting since yesterday um, for breakfast. So I submit this. This machine I submit this. Uh, let's go straight. Let's go to my doctor. So my doctor always get my blood reading. So when I go for my checkup and stuff. He has all the information and all my blood is doing over a period of three months for my A1Cs. So, um, so you see, we start at 96. It's a very nice, um, cool morning. It's not, it's perfect. It's a, actually a perfect morning to be outside. And um, I'm out here. I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so I had not a McDonald's in, in a long, long time, but I decided to do it this morning. So what I'm having this morning is, I think it's a, it's a hash, hash brown. Yeah, hash brown. I haven't had hash browns in a long time also. And I have a, um, a, a McGriddle, I think it is. McGriddle with cheese, eggs, and sausage. Now I know the bread here is full of carbohydrates. The sausage, not so bad. Uh, it has, you know, it has, it has some chemicals for I mean, some salt which may affect the, the pressure these eggs are not real so I don't expect the same kind of results as when I cook my egg and my and my um, use cheese at home high quality cheese and use my bread made with almond flour and so on so I don't expect that okay so well what I need to know is not whether this is good or whether it's bad how it impacts me and should I do it again because I don't want to say this anything is bad because it would be good for you. You know, not necessarily for me, but for you it may be good. So I'm working on me, what's good for me, and then hoping that you learn a little bit about what I'm doing and then maybe you try the same kind of things as you protect yourself from diabetes, which is one of the most dangerous diseases on the face of this earth. Let me tell you, I find, find out every day, I'm reading more and more about diabetics, about diabetes, and I'll tell you, it seems as the worst disease you could have is diabetes. Once you have diabetes, it, it damages your whole system. It blinds you. It damages your joints, your kidneys, your liver, your pancreas, your heart, your arteries. It destroys you. It's the most destructive disease to have. You know, it's linked to so many different illnesses. And once you take time like I'm doing, to control the diabetics, diabetes. It's like a reversal taking place in your body. You know, I started late doing this, but I can feel the reversal in my body already. Lots of areas that wasn't feeling very healthy, it's feeling a lot better. And if I keep doing this for a long time, I think I could, I, I'm not expect to bring my body back to what it was when I was young. You know, I don't expect that. That's why I still believe you should take medicine. You know, because your body, Eating good wouldn't bring you back to normal, but it can normalize where you are and stop getting, getting worse and the medicine will take care of the rest, you know? 
and you don't take a lot of medicine, maybe less, or even sometimes get off, because I've gotten off uh, my cholesterol, not, not my cholesterol, my uh, acid reflux medicine from eating properly, and I've cut my diabetes medicine down to half a pill. So I can feel the reversal, I know it, you know? And my fasting blood sugar is always beautiful under 100 most of the time, you know? So um, it's important that you take this diabetes thing very seriously, okay? But that doesn't mean you must restrict how you eat and where you eat. You could eat, go ahead and eat, have a good time, enjoy your life. The idea is to control the spikes, to enjoy your life. But in fact, the bottom line is to know how, what you eat, how it impacts you, diabetics. And you have to take time to do that. So that's why I carry my, my, my uh, machine in my pocket. You have a, come in a case, a very nice case. See this case here, like a camera. And having that with me, when I'm going somewhere new, I take it. But if I've been there before and I had that meal before, it's no big deal. I leave it in the car, you know. Otherwise, I need it. So this is my first time checking out McDonald's and actually testing it. I eat McDonald's many times in the past, and I stopped eating here in a long time. But today is a good day. I'm feeling good, and um, I'm going to do this. All right. So let me go and enjoy this little um, sandwich here, and I'll get back about an hour and a half, hour and let you know how this um, sandwich affects my blood sugar. Okay? I'm here with my sister-in-law. But I'm not going to show you her. I don't think she want to be on camera. I don't think she want to be on camera. She's having, but she don't have any diabetes, so she's good. She's just eating her sandwich, you know. She's having fun, <laughs> not like me, okay? Anyway, so I'll be back. All right. Thank you. Thanks for coming by and checking out Big O. All right. All right. Welcome back. I'm glad you stayed around to see the results of Big O test. I'm still at McDonald's. I hear chatting my sister-in-law, and we had a lot to talk about. Didn't see her for a year, you know. So I'm catching up. You know, all the stories and all the little things from the Bahamas, you know, keeping me well informed, you know, which is better than CNN. <laughs> <laughs> I get all the good news, all the family insights and everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good. Plus a little motivation, upliftment, you know, and encouragement and, uh, for everything. So I appreciate that. Anyway, I'm going to test again in front of you. Normally I don't do this in front of you, okay? I'm going to test my blood again in front of you to see how that McDonald's burger, not burger, McDonald's breakfast sandwich work out for me, right? I had the number six, whatever that was. You go look at that, and you go McDonald's look at number six, and a cup of coffee. So let's do this. I'm not gonna say ouch, okay? Because I don't, I could deal with that. I'm a man. I could take a stick. You know, all sticking will make me cry. You know, you gonna see me like, turning your blood. No, I ain't doing that. I can handle a little stick. You know what I'm saying? A little blood is nothing to me. And now we're gonna test that. There we go. Easy as that. And she's checking. 143. 143. 143. Let me submit this to my doctor. Um, after breakfast. I'm fine. Yeah. So, so 143. I would like to be at one, under 140. But 143 is not so bad. Because for with diabetes, under 180 is where you want to be. But like since I try to reverse my diabetes and come to myself non-diabetic, you know, taking care of myself, I expect to be under 140 when I eat anything. So my goal is always under 140. So if it's keeping me over 140, I try to tend to avoid it and in the future. But this wasn't that bad because we didn't even have a full hour and a half. I a bit about 120 minutes. And I'm at 143, not so bad, but I still prefer to be under 140. So once a week or once every two weeks or so, or once a month, I come and have me a McDonald's. So I'm kind of enjoy the breakfast. It was, it was tasty. It was very nice. So I, I will do it. Not every day, not twice a week, not three times a week, okay? Because my goal is to keep my sugar under 140, matter of fact, and then normalize under 110 quickly all day long so um i don't know how it's going to sustain my fasting that's my only concern now my next concern is how will that breakfast sustain my fasting for, for eight or so nine hours so uh like i said they clean the house right now and it take a while to clean the house so i'm not going home right now i'm hanging out with my sister-in-law taking her around shopping she might buy me something you know at least i'm gonna try to trick her into buying me something you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get a little something from that little lime you know and um, thing, but the goal is the, the, the goal was good, and it, the target was, was not bad. But the next move on this is fasting. 
the modern breakfast good enough to sustain a long fast. And critical to weight loss and, weight ma and, and maintenance of weight loss is being able to fast. Because if you can't fast, you tend to want to snack too much. If you get hungry too quickly, you're going to be snacking too quickly. And then you don't let your insulin level drop low enough to where your kidney will start searching for blood in the body, searching for sugar in the body, and burning some of that sword, sugar, sort of that sword energy, which causes you to lose weight. So it's critical that what you eat allow you to fast. So eat good food, food that will sustain your body well with good nutrients. Now this is a lot of carbohydrates and where the egg was good and um, the sausage was okay, a little protein in there and stuff on it. So it wasn't too bad. But I'm almost almost already feeling a little hungry <laughs> after an hour and a half. So I don't know if it's going to sustain fasting. So I wouldn't eat this kind of breakfast to fast, okay? I will not. I would have to add some other things into it and I can do it to fast. But it was good. So I want you to see how you know you do when you go out somewhere to eat. Know that you have to you should know the different places you eat and how your food affects you. And maybe you should eat that food again, how often you should eat it, okay? So that was my lesson for today and my McDonald's. I know where I'm gonna be with this breakfast. When I come again, I'm gonna try some other breakfast in the future. Alright, or something else. But I'm gonna try to keep, you know, when I go anywhere, I'm gonna test myself in different places and I'll let you all know how it's working out for me, alright? So big will say, control the spikes, enjoy life, you know, and have a good time and eat what you want, just know what you can eat and what you can't eat. No, you need no need for no specific kind of diet and miss good food. Eat good food, just drop food that is spiking you too high, okay? Blessings, thanks for coming back. Have a wonderful day. All right. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe or share if you like my video and you like what I'm saying. I think I'm looking good today. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, feel, I'm, looking, I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. I think so. I'm looking good here. Very good. She said I'm looking very good. Yeah, I'm telling you. You want to see her? No. <laughs> <laughs> she like being on the camera. Okay.